Hey, it's the old Florida boy. Happy Saturday afternoon, everybody. This is a short video uh, I'm responding to. I think it was Mark from Eat Carbs Outdoors who tagged me in the five items that you're never without in the woods. So here we go. Here's my five items that I'm never without. Number one, I'm never without my good old pair of boots. These are uh, these are pretty nice boots. These are uh, these are redheads. Uh, got a lot of cushion in the heel. You can walk a long ways. The insole is really, really cushioned. And I tried on a lot of these, and I got a really white foot. So these are these are like double or triple E's, and they're really, really comfortable. Now you'll see me in sometimes jeans, sometimes long pants, sometimes the jacket, sometimes shorts. But I'm always wearing these boots. Uh, I'm a big proponent on hand protection as well as foot protection. Uh, if you're out in the woods and you hurt your hands or you hurt your feet, remember your feet are the things that are going to take you out of those woods. You know, your hands, if you hurt your hands, that's why I always wear gloves too. If you hurt your hands, you know, you're, you're in trouble, but your feet got to have protection. So my number one item is boots. All right. My number two item is that I'm never without anywhere is my my buck knife i call this my buck knife kit all right this is an old buck special 119 you know and there and there's nothing fancy about it this is just the buck special 119 i call it my old number one uh knock on buck knives is sometimes they're hard to sharpen uh i've had this knife for a good 30 years it's not going anywhere uh i got a nice custom fitted leather sheath for it from a uh off of ebay from a guy called al's customs and this is uh, it, it is just a custom made leather sheath and it's great uh, why I like this sheath is it's got a holder on this side for my ferro rod my ferro rod, rod slips right in it's kind of loose so what I do is I put a carabiner on it and the carabiner is tied to some jute twine and a big piece of fat wood so when this goes on my side I just I just clip this carabiner right to my right to my Alice belt and I've got my my knife kit so I've got my fat wood and I've got something to ignite the fat wood and I've got my old number one knife so my number two item is my knife kit I'm never in the woods without it all right my number three item that you're always gonna see me carrying and I mean always is my canteen kit okay uh, and sometimes it's in this cover. Sometimes when I'm carrying my Condor bottle kit, it's in the, the Molly canteen cover. But I always have my canteen and the old handy dandy canteen cup as well as the canteen cup stove. And this one is nice because it's got this little pouch on the outside that I can carry a pack of matches with. So, you know, you just put a, put a pack of matches in your kit in this little pouch you know or you can also slip some water purification tablets down in the pouch you can put some esbit tablets or a couple of cubes in there to help you start a fire this little pouch is really nice to have I'm never without my canteen kit so that's my number three item my number four item is I'm not gonna show it to you right now but you've seen it in a lot of my videos uh, I'm never without some type of firearm. Usually it's my Beretta 92. Uh, if I'm going into a public park, I'll take a smaller handgun with me and conceal it because, you know, you don't want to piss off the neighbors or anything. But uh, I, I haven't seen any bears down here ever, but I have had some pretty close run-ins with some pretty mean wild hogs. Uh, and it's nice to have something other than a sharp stick. True, my Beretta is only a nine millimeter, and for you know, you get a 250 pound Razorback hog with big tusks and everything else. A nine millimeter isn't gonna do a heck of a lot against him, but it's better than a sharp stick. Uh, so that's my number four item: is a firearm. I'm never without a firearm in the woods, especially the swamps. So that's number four. My number five item is exactly what you're looking at right now. I'm filming this video 
on my Samsung Galaxy S7 phone. Not only am I never without my phone, because most of the time I'm out, I'm doing videos, having some kind of communication device is, is just essential, uh, in, in my opinion. Uh, what happens if you fall down? What happens if you break your leg? What happens if you get bitten by a rattlesnake? What happens if you have some kind of an emergency out in the woods and you don't have any way to call home? You're in trouble. Uh, at least if you have a cell phone, you know, you can dial 911 and you can kind of tell them where you're at. Uh, but in an emergency situation, you got to have a communication device. So my number five item that I am never without is this, my cell phone. Okay, so those are my five items. Uh, I hope you found it interesting uh, that I'm never without. Uh, I always like to see what other people are carrying in other parts of the country, you know, and, and different weather conditions and different parts of the country and different parts of the world. It's always interesting for me to see what everybody else carries. You know, what I carry is going to be entirely different from what you guys need in Canada. It's going to be entirely different from what you guys need in the Pacific Northwest. In the, in the extreme northeast United States, it's going to be an entirely different skill set up there also. So those are my five items. I'm not going to tag anybody particularly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tag my whole subscriber base. If you see this video and you're one of my subscribers and you would like to make a video response to this, I'm tagging everybody. So everybody should see what everybody else is carrying so that they can get as much, many ideas as possible. Okay, so it's starting to get pretty warm. Uh, it's going to be a nice day. I'm going to go out in the swamp tomorrow and do a new video. So I hope you all stick around. Once again, I want to uh, let you know that uh, you're going to see some suggested videos in the left-hand side of the screen. In the upper right-hand corner, you're going to see my subscription box. Please like, comment, subscribe. And once again, coming to you from my garage and the workbench of death, this is Matt, the old Florida boy, saying I will see you on the trail.